Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to the commencement exercises for the class of 2012. We have collective prayers out there to keep the rain up there and not down here. So if anyone has any influence, use it now. I would like to introduce the class president, Amanda Lorenko, to come forward. Welcome family, friends, students, faculty, and of course, graduates. Tonight is the commencement of our four great years at Frontier. Looking out into the crowd, I say thank you for helping shape such amazing students as those who make up the class of 2012. For my classmates, you have been the most impressive and spirited group that I have had the pleasure to know. I am so happy to be sharing this moment with all of you. Tonight has been a night that we have daydreamed about and it is finally here. As the excitement builds, I will keep it short and simple and say congratulations to my classmates and thank you all for attending. Now I'd like to welcome Ross Kellogg to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Hats off. Run rise, please. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Can everyone please rise for the national anthem? You can all sit. <laughs> I've spent the past four years at Frontier, growing up, learning, building relationships with my classmates and teachers. When I sat down to write the speech, I struggled with a way to describe our class up to this point. Most graduation speeches are about a powerful entity that a class becomes as a united mass. But rather, our class is a powerful entity that demonstrates individuality. I have watched each and every senior graduating today develop into a unique individual. Now, on our graduation day, we all finally come together, each as an individual talent, each as an individual voice, as a class sporting our caps and gowns, our daydreams of this moment finally becoming a reality. Some graduates are thinking, yes, it's finally over. Others are wondering what to do with the rest of their lives. Some are just biding the time until they can get out of their hot gowns and rush to the graduation party, diploma finally in hand. But before graduation becomes a moment in a scrapbook, I would like to remind our senior class of all that we are leaving behind. Many of us have spent sleepless nights finishing assignments, 
and some may have even developed carpal tunnel in order to complete their educational journey on time. We have endured the painstaking process of teachers preparing us for what lies ahead, whether it be balancing a checkbook or understanding the molecular structure of the cereal we eat for breakfast. There have been many valuable lessons. It is unlikely that we'll be we will be thinking back to the seemingly endless classes when we remember Frontier, but rather the moments between classes or after the day has ended. We will remember the time spent with teachers, coaches, and friends. We will all look back on the Tebbets flag reaching towards the sky as he marches his way through the school, or the principals dancing on stage in a comic act at the end of our cabaret. Perhaps even seemingly pointless things will manifest themselves in our mind, like the simple truth that the water fountain on the left is always coldest, the middle school entrance can save you from a detention for tardiness, and Mr. Modesto is not as scary as he looks. <laughs> we all took separate paths pursuing what we loved in high school, whether it was art, sports, or woodshop, but we all experienced the same tired happiness of a day well spent. Yes, we may not have our done our homework on some of those occasions, but those are the moments that are likely to make up our memories at Frontier. We have all learned a great deal in our four years. We have received a quality education, but also so much more. Beyond the classroom, we have devoted our time and energy into forging friendships, not only with our peers, but with our teachers. These irreplaceable relationships have taught us loyalty, communication, and perseverance through good times and bad. I stand here before you, proud of Frontier and proud of our class. This is the start of our adult lives. Many of us are going off onto different paths, some to college, some to work, some to serve our country, and some to futures that seem hazy. Though we may all separate to pursue our own individual dreams, I am absolutely positive that our class will produce great things together in the future. It was Norman Vincent Peale who said that there is great magic in enthusiasm. It spells the difference between mediocrity and accomplishment. I could not put the spirit of our class into words, but enthusiastic seems to hit the spot. It is my honor to have been a member of the class of 2012, and as we all receive our diplomas, I would like you to look around at your friends, your teachers, your coaches, and family, and realize that we have all accomplished so much. Never lose the enthusiasm, and never stop pursuing your goals. Congratulations to the class of 2012. We did it! <laughs> And now comes the time to present the scholarships. And as an aside, I want to tell you um, what you already know is that this is such a wonderful community. And you will see that by the generosity and the variety in the scholarships being presented tonight. But what happened this afternoon was somewhat comical, but demonstrates the heartfelt warmth and commitment to making sure this program went off. At 4.30 today, I received a phone call saying that we had no power here on the field, which meant no sound, um, and it was a little bit of a disaster. But there were a lot of committed people who got here and got it set up, and it's just an example of the spirit of this wonderful area. So, we are going to call it the scholarship recipients up, and if they would come forward this way. The first recipient is Emily Williams. Emily is receiving a scholarship from the Deerfield Recreation Department Scholarship, the Polish American Citizens Award Club, and the Fred Wells Scholarship. The next recipient is Ben Lawton. Ben is receiving the Franklin First Federal Credit Union Scholarship and the Yankee Call Candle Scholarship. The next recipient is Kelsey Abramson. 
Kelsey is receiving the Frontier Regional School Teachers Association Stephen Sinicki Memorial Award, the Hampshire Franklin Hamden Agricultural Society Scholarship, the Polish American Citizens Club Award, the Alice Spindler Award for Excellence in English, the Union 38 Teachers Association Patricia Gamlin Award, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> The next recipient is Adam Ells. Adam is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Frontier Regional School Teachers Association William Steinek Memorial Award, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Could I have Hannah Lee come forward, please? Hannah is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Frontier Drama Club Scholarship, and the Union 38 Teachers Association Scholarship. <laughs> Brian Seacard, could you come forward, please? Brian is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Hale Clap Post number 3295 VFW Scholarship. Sarah Benson, could you come forward? Sarah is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. We pause. <laughs> Keegan Downey, could you come forward, please? Keegan is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Beat Fog Nozzle Caddy Consulting Hockey Scholarship, the Conway Festival of the Hills, the Conway Sportsman Club Scholarship, the Greenfield Lodge of Elks Number 1296 Scholarship, and the Fred Wells Scholarship. Kira McDonald, could you come forward, please? <laughs> Kira is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Conway Festival of the Hills Scholarship, the Kathy Mosier Memorial Cabaret Award, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> Michael Ames, could you come forward, please? Michael is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Hampshire Franklin Baseball Umpires Association Scholarship, the Sunderland Men's Club Lillian Dill Award, the Sunderland Women's Club Kimberly Zuski Community Service Award, and the Carl Joseph Walker Hoover Foundation Award. <laughs> Caitlin Wood, could you come forward, please? Caitlin is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the American Legion Auxiliary District II Scholarship, the Mary Stewart Rogers Foundation Scholarship, and a Yankee Candle Scholarship. Harrison Gore, could you come forward, please? Harry will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Could I have Felicia Lenarzik, please? Felicia will be receiving the Don Maynard Memorial Award. Just to keep it interesting, we'll mix it up. Seth Dancer, could you please come forward? Seth will be receiving. The Joseph Moroski Memorial Award. Will Blythe Archibald please come forward? Yeah. Blythe will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship.
Will Eli Trotter please come forward? Eli will, Eli will also be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Would Bethany Drake please come forward? Bethany will be receiving the Barbara Spanis Memorial Award, the Rick Justo Memorial Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Would Brittany Larson please come forward? Brittany will be receiving the, I the Irene Woodard Scholarship. Henry Bergeron, if you please come forward. Henry will be receiving the Sunderland Men's Club George Pomeroy Award. Will Rachel Adette please come forward? Rachel will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. The, the Nancy Oshevsky Memorial Scholarship, the Sunderland Women's Club Francis M. Clark Fine Arts Award. Being assaulted by a flag. <laughs> Would Fu Min Kian please come forward? <laughs> Fu Min will be receiving the Amherst Brewing Company Scholarship. Would Amanda Lorenko please come back up? <laughs> Amanda will be receiving the John A. Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Coca-Cola Scholarship Foundation, the Comcast Leaders and Achievers Award, the Daniel Gilmore Memorial Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Daniel Beckley, please come forward. Dan will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship in the, in the Linda Bailing Memorial Scholarship. Sarah Judge, will you please come forward? Sarah will be receiving the Michael Skabisky Memorial Award. Would Matt Arnold please come up? Matt will be receiving the Massachusetts AFL CIO Scholarship. Would Kayla Santos please come up? Kayla will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Courtney Ann Bartos Memorial Scholarship. Greg Como, will you please come up? Greg will be receiving the South Deerfield Women's Club Scholarship. Oh, Megan Sullivan, could you please come up? Megan will be receiving the Don Maynard Memorial Award, the South Deerfield Women's Club Scholarship, in the, in the Sunset Hoopster Scholarship. <laughs> Brody Jarvis, please come forward. Brody will be receiving the Deerfield Plastics Barker Family Scholarship, the South Deerfield Women's Club Scholarship, and the Valley Light Opera Kathy Moser Memorial Scholarship. Sarah Belder, hop on up. Yay! 
Sarah will be receiving the Frontier Teachers Association Memorial Award, the Hillside Agricultural Society Scholarship, and the Waitley Lions Club Scholarship. <laughs> Noah Altman, please come forward. <laughs> Noah will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the John T. Freegard Memorial Award. Rebecca Mervine, please come up. Rebecca is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the George E. Bell Jr. and Louise S. Bell Memorial Scholarship, the Conway Festival of the Hills, the Conway Fireman's Woman's Auxiliary Scholarship, the Conway Sportsman Club Dave Bennett Memorial Scholarship, the Sunset Hoopsters Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, the Wilcox Ware Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> Could I have Stana Wheeler, please? Stana will be receiving the Jenny Brzezowski Zarumba Memorial Award. Greg Blinder, could you come forward, please? Greg will be receiving the New Salem Academy Scholarship. Could I have Casey Roberts, please? Casey will be receiving the Rick Boron Memorial Award, the Class of 1996 Greg Bielski Memorial Award, the Deerfield Lions Club Memorial Award, the Vi Goodnow Memorial Award, the James Z. Norrison Scholarship, the Polish American Citizens Club Award, the Sunset Hoopster Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Carly Donis, could you come up, please? Yeah, Carly. Carly will be receiving the Frontier Regional School Teachers Association Edna Beatty Award and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> Justin Michkowski, would you please join us? Justin will be receiving the Deerfield Police Relief Association Award. Jessica Bernaski, please. Yeah. Jess will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Yeah. Keith Spencer, could you come up, please? Yeah. Keith will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, an anonymous scholarship, Conway Festival of the Hills, Conway Sports Club, Aaron Stalins Memorial Scholarship, Hampshire Franklin Baseball Umpires Association Scholarship. <laughs> Megan Shaw, could you come forward, please? <laughs> Megan will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Marcus Joseph, would you come up, please? <laughs> Marcus will be receiving the Waitley Lions Club Scholarship and the Waitley PTO Award. Casey Gavin, could you join us, please? Casey will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship the Massachusetts Elk Scholarship, and the Fred Wells Scholarship. <laughs> Chelsea Swayze, could you come up, please? <laughs> Chelsea will be receiving the Deerfield Recreation Department Scholarship and the Fred Wells Scholarship. <laughs> Ann 
Andrew Merritt. Could you come forward, please? Andrew will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Could I have Sophia Bilius, please? <laughs> Sophia will be receiving the John and Ab Abigail Adams Scholarship and the John T. Friggard Memorial Award. Would Sabrina Whitman please come forward? <laughs> Sabrina will be receiving the Greg Bilski Memorial Award, the Deerfield Lions Club Memorial Award, the Hampshire Franklin Hamden County, County Agricultural Society Scholarship, the James E. Narson Scholarship, the South Deerfield Women's Club Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> Mark Sonier, could you please come up? Mark will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. <laughs> Lindsay Blake, could you please come up? <laughs> Lindsay will be receiving the Frontier Drama Club Scholarship and the Irene Woodard Scholarship. Harry Lee, can you please come up? <laughs> Harry will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, an anonymous scholarship, the Sergeant Gregory Belanger Memorial Award, and the Swampfield Historical Society Henry Wilder Award. <laughs> Courtney Parent, could you please come up? <laughs> Courtney will be receiving the Matthew Herman Scholarship. Ethan Blake, could you please come forward? <laughs> Ethan will be receiving the Roger Dean Scudder Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Rachel Sable, please come up. <laughs> Rachel will be receiving the John and Adam Scholarship the Richard Hawkins Scholarship, the Kathy Mosier Memorial Cabaret Award, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> Would Brittany Carpasca please come forward? <laughs> Brittany will be receiving the Sunderland Volunteer Firemen's Association Award. Andrew Cox, please come up. Andrew will be receiving the Nick Kavanagh Memorial Award. Ashley Bork, could you please come up? Ashley will be receiving the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Could Bradley Tremblay please come up? It's gonna go away. <laughs> Brad will be receiving the Frontier Athletic Award. <laughs> Shelby, Shelby Ducharme, please come up. <laughs> Shelby will be receiving the Frontier Regional School, School Store Scholarship the Rotary Club of Franklin County, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Irene Woodard Scholarship.
Jeffrey Dewey, please come up. Jeff will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Jeffrey C. The Jeffrey C. Benarski Memorial Scholarship. Would Courtney Torson please come up? Courtney will be receiving the John and, Abigail Ab John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Jeffrey C. Benarski Memorial Scholarship. Kaylee Chunga, please come forward. Kaylee will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Daniel Gilmore Memorial Scholarship, the Southern Women's Club Milford Goodyear Math and Science and Technology Award. And Connor Lewis, could you please come forward? Connor will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Conway Festival of the Hills. Could I have Hannah Cleveland, please? <laughs> Hannah will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Could I have Jamie Tulpa, please? <laughs> Jamie will be, re be receiving the Frontier Regional School Store Scholarship, the Polish American Citizens of Hadley, Stanley Paulson Memorial Scholarship, and the Irene Woodard Scholarship. <laughs> Would Brianna Cook please come forward? Bree will be receiving the Charles A. P. Locke Memorial Award. Could I have Glenn Sullivan, please? Glenn will be receiving the Michael G. Kavanaugh Memorial Award. Could I have Aaron McConnell, please? Aaron will be receiving the Margaret Parsons Memorial Award. Ross Kellogg, would you come forward, please? Ross will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Hampshire Franklin IAABO Board 28 William F. Casey Scholarship, the Mary Ryan Memorial Scholarship, the John F. Skrosky Memorial Scholarship, the Waitley Lions Club Scholarship, and the Waitley Police Association Scholarship. Taylor Cooper, would you come forward, please? Taylor will be receiving the Hale Clap Post number 3295 VFW Scholarship. Could I have Cameron Porter, please, come forward? Cam will be receiving the Sergeant Gregory Belanger Memorial Award, the Beat Fog Nozzle Caddy Consulting Hockey Scholarship, the Polish American Citizens Club Award, the South Deerfield Women's Club Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. And the final recipient this evening, could I have Callie decision, please? Callie will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Big Y Scholarship, 
the William K. Decker Memorial Award, the Deerfield Police Walter Decision Memorial Award, the Polish American Citizens Club Award, the Lori Ann Richards Memorial Scholarship, the South Deerfield Women's Club Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, the Woman of the Moose Chapter 316 Scholarship, the Irene Woodard Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. On behalf of Frontier Regional School in the class of 2012, I would like to take this wonderful, thank this wonderful thank Frontier community for your generous support of our students. 93 groups, scholarship committees, and organizations gave 186 awards to 70 of our seniors this evening, totaling more than $93,000. Thank you very much. And now I would like to ask Keegan Downey to come forward to introduce our speaker. The class of 2012 is very pleased to have Ms. Louise Law with us this evening. She is currently the Director of Elementary Education with the Union 38 School District. She has been with the Union 38 District since 1989 when she began as the Assistant Principal and Curriculum Coordinator for Deerfield Elementary School. Since 1989, she has held other positions in the Union 38 School District including interim principal at Deerfield Elementary School and assistant to the superintendent. Ms. Law has, for the past 15 years, directed the district's summer reading camp writing programs. Before coming to the district, she was a classroom teacher for eight years in Amherst, Southampton, and Gill Montague. In 2008, Mrs. Law had the opportunity to spend a half year in India. During that time, she volunteered at roller schools for tribal children living in remote mountain areas in southern India. Upon her return, she shared stories and photos documenting her experiences with the students in the local districts, hoping to instill a sense of global awareness. Due to the students' response to the photos of impoverished children sitting on dirt floors in makeshift schools, Ms. Law worked with students in the district elementary schools and Frontier to conduct a penny drive to raise funds to help volunteers construct sturdier structures for the schools. Frontier students also contributed the proceeds from the Valentine's Day flower sales that year to the project. Students and families' contributions amounted to over $4,000, which was used to build four small but permanent schools in the mountains of India. Ms. Law excitedly returned to India the following year to present the check for the building of the schools, as well as two suitcases full of Legos that the students had donated, one handful at a time out of their own collections, to share with the children in the new schools. Her visit included a surprise. Tribal villagers proudly showed her a newly constructed small school building that donations from her friends and colleagues had funded the previous year. This school, deep in the mountains of rural India, they named the Luis School. Please help me in welcoming Miss Luis Law as our guest speaker for this evening. Instructions for living a life. Pay attention, be astonished. These words by poet Mary Oliver pretty much sum up the thoughts I'm about to share with you today. But I should first back up and do a proper greeting. Hello, class of 2012. Give yourselves a hand. All right. Welcome family, friends, and faculty. I feel honored and privileged to be at Frontier Regional School for your commencement. I know several of you personally. I also know all of your elementary teachers. The day after tomorrow, my daughter, Emily, will graduate from Northampton High School. 
Many of you remember Emily, and she most definitely remembers you. She attended Sunderland and Deerfield Elementary Schools, and I know several of you as her classmates and her friends. You were her first real peer group, her first friends. You as a group and as individuals are special to me. Seeing you grow and learn over the past 13 years has been exciting. As a parent, I empathize with your parents. Wait a minute, we want to say. How did you all of a sudden get to this point in our lives and your lives? OK, you got here, 113 of you. And we are proud of you. You have grown from the miraculous infants we held to our hearts into young men and women. Amazingly, in all those years, we, your parents, have not aged a single day. And we, your families, your friends, and your teachers, have joined to celebrate with you and honor you today. Tomorrow? Well, this is the part of the graduation speech where I'm supposed to tell you something important, something inspiring about tomorrow and the years after that, where, in Mary Oliver's words, I am to ask you, tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Well, I'll begin with sharing some good news. You will never, in your entire lives, be asked to take another MCAS. You will also never be given another tardy slip. They don't exist in the real world. You will probably not go anywhere where you will be, need to ask permission to use the restroom nor will any of you ever again serve another detention with Mr. Modesto. It gets better. You are in the eyes of the law an adult. Well, sort of. Most of you have reached the age of 18, so you can vote but you cannot legally drink alcohol anywhere in the United States. You can serve in the armed forces, but you cannot usually rent a hotel room. You can be called to jury duty, own real estate, and buy a car, but you cannot rent one. In most of the world, you will no longer be referred to as boys and girls, but rather as men and women. Welcome to almost adulthood. Did I mention you can vote? Whatever you do, please do vote this year. In many parts of the world, people still are fighting for that right, and all you had to do was turn 18. Oh, and register. How many of you registered so far? Good job. All right. But now I want to get to the message of the speech. It's about reflection. You know what reflection is. Light is reflected. Sound waves, water waves, radio waves can all be reflected. One definition of reflect is to bend or fold back. But in another sense, reflection is thinking, contemplation, meditation. It is the process of taking an active look at your own experience rather than just enjoying the experience or hating the experience or being bored by it or thinking it's silly or meaningless. When you reflect, you examine that experience rather than just live it. For that is how you will live, uh, learn, and grow. 
Socrates said that the unexamined life is not worth living. He was referring to reflection. I'd like to share a brief true story about the power of reflection. A few weeks, a few weeks ago, I was waiting in the line at the grocery store with my younger daughter, Rebecca, and we noticed behind the register a young man that we both knew. Um, this young man is a very talented actor, and he's a student at Northampton High School with my daughters. And he's planning to go on to drama school in New York City. He's had all the leads in the plays. And I watched as he dealt quite skillfully for, with a extremely grouchy, unpleasant nightmare of a customer. The kind that makes me cringe and wonder what in the world makes people think they're entitled to treat people that way. And as he finished, and with a smile, my daughter and I came up, and it was our turn. And she said, hey, Will, how do you like working here? And I was bracing for a negative response due to what I just had seen. But he showed us a great smile, and he said, I love it. The people who work here are wonderful. And the customers say the funniest stuff. And he pulled out a little piece of paper out of his pocket, all scribbled on, and he said, I write it all down. It makes great dialogue. <laughs> now, there's an example of someone who knows how to reflect, how to use an experience that may be pleasant or unpleasant to grow and learn. You're likely to discover if we don't fly away, that being able to reflect is one of the keys to living a happy life. I recently read a book by a journalist called The Happiness Project. I highly recommend it. This number one New York Times bestseller describes a year that Rubin spent test driving the wisdom of the ages, studies about what makes people happy. After exhaustive research and experimenting with her own actions, and yes, reflection, she came up with a list of secrets of adulthood. And here are just a few. Each one something you can reflect on right here, right now, and in the future. Ready? Number one, people don't notice your mistakes as much as you think. In fact, people are usually so worried about making their own mistakes that your big blunder will often barely register a blip on the screen of their day. Besides, as Albert Einstein once said, anyone who's never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Number two, do good, feel good. The happiest people are usually those who do good deeds for others. With all the celebrating that will take place this weekend, just think of all the opportunities you will have to do something for your family members that are here for you today. Dishes, anyone? Number three, it's important to be nice to everyone. It will make your friends happy, and it will make your enemies miserable. Or, if they reflect a little, they may stop being your enemies. Or if not, perhaps you can turn their words into some good dialogue. Number four, if you're not failing, you're not trying hard enough. Michael Jordan once famously said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. So here's the end of my speech, and if you missed any of it because you were reflecting on something else, it's okay because I have a small graduation present for each of you. It's going to reveal the secret to your future success. Please reach under your seats and tape to the bottom of your seats is a small gift. Okay, 
Everybody got it? Now open it. Boys, I'm going to teach you how. This is called a compact. <laughs> you open it this way. There's a little dip in it. Okay, everybody get them open. Yeah, there's a little sort of dip thing. Yeah, okay. Open it that way and take a look. There's the secret to your success. It's you. Look within, the secret is inside of you. Now tilt the mirror away from your own face. There's a lot out there to reflect on. Pay attention. Be astonished. Thank you. Congratulations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> Parents and family members so that you can get a sense of where and when to take pictures. We will be bringing the students up by row, starting with the ladies. They will come over here and receive their diploma and walk across the stage so that you can make sure that you're queued up for photographs. I would like to present our superintendent, Dr. Regina Nash, to award the diplomas. Megan Elaine Shaw. <laughs> Patricia Marie Bradford. <laughs> Taylor Ann Cooper. <laughs> Shelby Ross. Du Charm. <laughs> Kira Susan McDonald. <laughs> Casey Jean Roberts. <laughs> Amber Marie Lovett. Courtney Catherine Trozen. <laughs> Brittany Ann Larson. <laughs> Chelsea Lynn Swansea. Nicholas R. Muscari. Brandon M. Eckel. Greg Blinder. Andrew T. Merritt. Connor Thomas Luce. <laughs> Fu Ming Kian. <laughs> Daniel Lyon Beckley. <laughs> Chris
Clement V. Watroba. Dominic Michael Arietta. Mark A. Sonier Jr. Caitlin A. Wood. Sarah E. Benson. Ashley Irene Bork. Sarah May Belder. Felicia J. Zanarzik. Amanda Marie Lorenko. Sarah Michelle Judge. F. Blythe Archbald. Ting Ting Gao. Stana Marie Wheeler. Nathan Nikolai Carey. Jeffrey A. Dewey. Michael Keith Ames. Anthony Hamilton Libertine. Zachariah James Nickerson. Elias Peter Trotter. Jamie C. Tolpa. Dylan Michael Farrick. Robert Spencer. Matthew J. Arnold. Maya Oldel. <laughs> Melanie E. Abercrombie. Yeah! Brianna Lynn Cook. Yeah! 
Emily Catherine Williams. Carly Ann Donis. Erin Grace McConnell. Sabrina Nicole Whitman. Hannah Elizabeth Cleveland. Hannah Rose Lee. Brandine C. Gagnon. Brian David C. Card. Harrison Gore. Nathan Burns Perret. Kristen Mapes Driver Schroeder. Christopher M. Ryan. Paul Shaw Griffin. Justin George Ribirio. Keegan Nathaniel Downey. Benjamin Jacob Lawton. <laughs> Catherine, I'm sorry, Cameron Keith Porter. Amelia A. Burke. <laughs> Rachel Sable. <laughs> Jessica Lee Bernaski. <laughs> Allison Green. Megan F. Sullivan. <laughs> Casey Abigail Gavin. <laughs> Sophia Billius. <laughs> Rachel Kayla Audette. Lindsay Harwood Blight. <laughs> Callie Marie Decision.
Brody Arthur Jarvis. Ethan Gregory Blake. Jeremy Christopher Farrick. Patrick O. Guy. Pa Hung Lee. Timothy A. Eve Coles. Paul R. Kiris. Kyle M. Koch. Andrew W. Koch. Rebecca Jane Mervine. Courtney Lee Parent. Kayla Lynn Santos. Bethany Lee Drake. Brittany Leanne Kropaska. <laughs> Kayla May Cartwright Chunga. <laughs> Renee Ariel Shaffy. <laughs> Katie Flanagan. Kelsey Jillian Abramson. Gregory A. Como. <laughs> Seth Elliott Dancer. <laughs> Kai C. Marmino. <laughs> Zachary Young. Corey H. Wilson. Tevin Romaine Francis. Glenn Thomas Sullivan. Daniel Dean Kiris. Marcus C. Joseph. Adam J. Ells.
<laughs> Justin Joseph Majkowski. <laughs> Jeffrey Paul Cusson. <laughs> Kevin J. Skribiski. <laughs> Simone Molinar. Bradley P. Tremblay. Henry Bergeron. Evan W. Roberts. Noah Samuel Altman. Ross Michael Kellogg. I now present the class of 2012. Congratulations. Thank you. 